Bye, guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, and I mean over the top, a beautiful Monday morning here in the end times. That would be Monday, March 8th, 2021. And uh, I got to decide what I am going to do on this beautiful day. <coughs> Get out there, enjoy it while I still can. But before I figure out uh, my own life here, I uh, just got an email from um, a buddy of mine, a tribes member that I have, that I met here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe and had the great pleasure of spending a few days with at Bugs in a Jar Farm last summer and I'm hoping I'm going to be able to see Brother Roy, Brother Roy again uh, this summer and you know every once in a while you get an email that just like you know like boom that uh, I, I guess you know this is the kind uh, of email that is supposed to make me grateful for how lucky I am uh, and you know to put myself uh, compare myself to uh, friends of mine who are facing issues in their life of, of, of you know, ju just horrific, is that the word, issues in their life. You know, I, I stub my toe uh, and, and I act like my world is falling apart. And, you know, I have, <clears throat> good Lord, how many of us in the tribe are, 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 are facing issues that are just, you, you know, I just, I, I, I listen to some of my friends uh, not whining, it's not, it's not whining, it, it's, it's just describing their life, what they deal with every day in their life, and does it make me grateful uh, that I am not in their shoes. Uh, no, it just makes me more depressed that they are in their shoes. And so anyway, this is what's going on in Brother Roy's life today. Uh, he has some advice. This is some advice for somebody who is walking a road that I assure you, you do not want to be walking as the airboats crank up. We're going to get some sage advice from Brother Roy. I think Roy is uh, in his early 50s, although he's what some people would call an old soul. Take it away, Roy, and give us some advice here in the end times. <clears throat> Brother, this is one thing I want to tell you from my experience. When your body disobeys, there is no cliché or philosophy that can alleviate the despair you feel. Words cannot explain the ontological pain when you are the one suffering. <clears throat> On that note, I have an important piece of advice for you. I learned from my hiking and rafting days that you should plan for where you are going to spend the night as early as possible when the sun is still high up in the sky. The tent should be pitched and the sleeping bags laid before darkness settles in. Sleeping is what I call simulated death. Similarly, 
one should foresee where and what situation you are going to be in when old, sick, and frail, and prepare accordingly. I did not prepare well, and now I am paying the price. On that note of preparedness, the most important item after money and a house is friends and family. It is horrendous to find yourself alone when you are seriously ill and not a soul to talk to. Fortunately, I have many good friends who sincerely care and take good care of me. There you go, and I am happy to be one of Roy's friends. I don't know, Roy, if I'm doing anything to help take good care of you, brother, but uh, all we have got is each other. You know, it's when I get emails like this, and uh, and, and, and I think of, of all of the ruined, destroyed friendships, uh, you know, that have blown up in my life over the past year. That, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it, it's words like this that... Uh, just drive it home. Guys, we're all we've got. You know, we are all we have. And, 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 and just to watch uh, the most important the most important uh, way to navigate what the shitstorm we're heading into J just blow up over this bullshit uh, it, 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 it really drives home how fucked we are but anyway uh, <clears throat> Roy and others in your in your shoes uh, I, I, I have no words of advice for you, but I do appreciate your advice for me. And now I'm going to wrap this up and go figure out how to prepare for my old age. Not living alone. Beware the depressive effects of isolation. As uh, someone gave me some sage advice one time, beware the depressive effects of isolation. And here I am at the end of a rutted out dirt road in the Point Lonesome Swamp talking to my little imaginary friends on YouTube. But I love my little imaginary friends. And it's people like Roy that keep me doing whatever it is I do with my life. <clears throat> and get out there and figure out what it is you need to be doing with your life. Pitch the tent while the sun is high, while you still can. Bye, guys.